Hi, this is Casey Jones, 1950 on YouTube. Uh, recently, I I poked a little fun at another YouTuber's uh, video about Bachman's products, and he was showing a Pensy K4 that they had made the mistake of putting PRR on the Keystone number plate in the front instead of uh, the number. Well, <clears throat> a friend of mine and I we call Bachman Botchman. That's B-O-T-C-H-M-A-N. And sometimes they do make some really bad boo-boos on some of their equipment. But all in all, I've got a bunch of Bachman engines. Uh, mainly I've got about five of their 280 consolidations right now. I've got a, a C&O Mountain. I've got a C&O Mallet. <clears throat> but also, i got a couple of their Jeeps. Now this particular one here, 6,000, uh, this was originally an L&N unit, and I stripped it. Okay, I changed the hand railings on this. I put Smoky Valley brass hand rails on it and some other details. Uh, front Mount Bell by Bob Reza. Uh, I've got MU stands on it by Hill Associate. I made some uh, other... Uh, Additions like there's you can hardly see them here, but MU hoses on the front Once you detail these engines out, they aren't bad and they're pretty good runners now this one I've got an economy in it and notice you can see the economies LED through the fans Those are not the stock fans. I drilled all the fans out in these shells and put cannon fans in them which are see-through much nicer, much more prototypic. Um, same thing. This one is a GP7, and it's it's lettered correctly and it's numbered correctly, stock. But there again, I did the same thing, changed the fans out in this. It's kind of blurring out here on me, but also added more correct details on this. Added uh, brass sunshades. Same thing with this. I added brass sunshades on the cab. Uh, I had a friend of mine, Larry Zeminski, in Detroit paint and decal this unit for me. I did all the detailing on it and then gave it to him to paint and letter. And he did a nice job on it. And the, the blue is a little bit lighter because he adds some white in it to make it look faded, uh, which is a good technique, as well as he weathered the shell a little bit for me with chalks and whatnot. I've got a I still got to weather the trucks and the underbody of the the uh, fuel tank on it, but all in all, these engines run pretty good. In fact, I have not had a problem like the Protos with gears cracking in either one of these units. You know, let me turn the sound on. They both. Yeah, see, I hope I didn't lose my address out of here. Yeah. Okay. Six zero. Okay, there's the sound on. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera a little bit. Um, I'm standing up on my basement floor here, and I've had knee surgery recently, so I'm not real steady on my feet yet. But anyhow, I've got these advanced consisted address 60. Only thing is, I've got a problem right now with the real one. I changed the LEDs and these to warm white instead of that yucky yellow that they use. And for some reason, I can't get the rear light on the B&O to work. I may have popped the LED, I don't know. But uh, also added uh, quite a few details to these. And like I said, I, for... Uh, I don't know about the newer ones now that they're putting out, but these run quite well together, and two of them will pull a pretty good train up my 2% grades. So, there you have it. Like I say, some of them you could call Boschman, where other ones are Bach. Bachman are all right. And these are pretty good units. They've got a built-in speaker chamber in the fuel tank assembly area, so when you wire in a sound decoder, you can put your uh, speaker right in the bottom of the fuel tank. If you like this video, subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. Thank you.